the arena. There is no law. Racing is a blood sport. If you lose, you die. We do a show on Collider called Mailbag where our viewers will send us questions and we'll have to answer them to the best of our ability. And some of them are about acting, so right. we have limited experience, but we can't answer them quite like you could. So okay. I want to pose some of them to you. <laughs> so, yeah, please. Yeah. So we had someone named Cody Enos write to us, when someone is complimenting a film or a performance, they applaud the actor, but sometimes the decisions are made by the writer. So when do you applaud the actor and when do you applaud the writer? Never applaud the writer and... Uh, <laughs> Uh, when do you applaud the writer? Well, the writer came up with it, but here's what happens to someone's writing, and this is the heartbreaking thing for writers, it gets interpreted. So whatever you wrote, it's gonna be interpreted by your director, and by the producers, and then by the actors. Well, I think the writer is very important because that's what actually gets you involved in the beginning. I always said it starts from a script, and a good script, and that's normally the writer who actually sort of, in a sense, sort of like grabs your attention. And I think in this version with Ben-Hur, what I realized very quickly was it was a completely reimagined version of this wonderful book. So then you think, okay, is this something I can do? Is the character right? And on this version, I'd say, we were so in love with this story and I was so in love with this character and what we could do of it that there's a lot you bring after it. But I'd say you always applaud the writer because they're the sort of unsung heroes a lot of the time. And I think, um, you know, th 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 with this, I, I can't emphasize enough what an incredible job they did. Now, I think when you applaud the actor, you are applauding the writer. You're applauding everybody when you applaud the actor, because the actor then is the final result of all of that input, of all those people, even the person who was just dragging the cable behind the camera. I mean, <laughs> come on, let's face it, we can't do our jobs if, we're, as, if we don't have good writing to work with. Yeah, writers it's are sort of essential, like, and, uh, yeah. and they do make the, the whole difference. But at the end of the day, what I personally, what I truly enjoy is a, collabor a collaborative uh, yeah. process. When you know everybody brings something to the table, I think the result will be always more rich and, and interesting. Now we have someone named Dominic P. He's from Austria and he saw the movie Deadpool in English and thought it was hilarious. A few days later, he saw it in German dubbed and a lot of the jokes didn't land. So his question is, can random voice actors capture the emotion of the original actor? Hmm, it's hard. I want to say you've it, probably been dubbed more than many I have. times, yeah. many times. Sometimes he gets close. It's never. It's not you. I mean, it's not. Um, it's just different. It's a different source. You know, the the emotions, the voice. It's just different. Yeah. So you will have a different version. That doesn't mean it's better or worse, but. It is, it is different than what was trying to be captured at that moment in reality. It's interesting, I, we, don't dub in, uh, we don't dub in Denmark, so I've always heard the original voice. But it's interesting to think about that maybe, I'm, maybe I sound more sexy in German, I don't know. We had Nathan Henderson write, while watching a movie review, he heard a reviewer say that they could see how a particular actor didn't want to play a character anymore. So his question was, do actors get burned out or do some purposely give bad performances? I don't think any actor ever purposely gives a, a, a bad performance, but yeah, I do think they burn out. Uh, I, I think uh, you get to a point where you say, look, enough of this, I'm gonna go do something else paint landscapes or something, <laughs> or raise horses. I've heard people giving bad performances because they've fallen out or their egos got trapped in some bizarre spiral of believing they're important. The important thing to understand is whether it's a short movie or a blockbuster, you're supposed to give the same effort. And you do get burned out. But then either widen your vocabulary of skills and abilities or just appreciate how lucky you are to have earned money for wearing makeup. <laughs> I mean, money, real buy a house money and a car money for pretending, for doing what you did when you were six. I'm so sorry you burned out. Here's some tissues with money. Wipe your tears with your money. I, I don't comprehend it, but I'm only 34, so I might be at like 50 and be like, oh, I'm so done with this but then I'll just leave, because no one cares that I'm here anyway. <laughs> 
Hey guys, if you like this video, click the thumbs up button. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. It'll help you stay up to date with everything we've got going on here at Collider.